What's up guys, Husto7 here and I've got a video and I'm going to show you today how you can um, create and upload some of your game clips um, using your Xbox One. So if you want to you know, share clips with friends, um, you can share them in the activity feed or you can even um, through SkyDrive get them on your computer and share them to YouTube. So it's a pretty cool feature and I'm going to show you how to do that. So from your Xbox dashboard you're going to want to navigate to Game DVR or uh, it's easier for me just to click on the uh, upload right here. Now just a quick note, you will need to have Upload and Upload Studio um, installed if you want to uh, do these features. They can be found in the, uh, the App Store um, and you can download them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on My Clips here. And one quick note about clips is that the Xbox One will automatically record game clips when you uh, do something cool in a game. So if you kill a boss or if you get a high combo, um, it will automatically record those, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you want to um, record a game clip manually, you can always just say Xbox Snap Game DVR. Um, it will appear on the uh, right side. You can specify the length. Um, and if you just want to kind of record on the go, you can also just say Xbox record that and it will record the last uh, 30 seconds um, uh, that you've had. So let's click on uh, one of my, you can see I got all of these clips here. Some of these I manually recorded. Um, some of them I uh, some of them the Xbox recorded. Now one quick note is that even if you record a clip, you'll see that I have these clips here, but these ones over here have check marks next to them. That's because I've saved them. Um, if you want to save a clip, you're going to need to uh, click on the menu button and then choose save. Um, so some clips, uh, you know, they'll be saved for a little while, but don't expect your clips to stay around forever if you don't save them. Um, so let's go ahead and pull up one of these clips here. Okay, so we can watch the clip, but now let's say that we want to go ahead and uh, edit this. So click the, uh, the button again. I'll make sure that I save this clip just so that I have the original. And now I'm going to choose Edit. This is going to take us to Upload Studio, which is again why you want to have both of these installed. Now, at Upload Studio, it gives you a little bit of a rundown, so just, you know, you can familiarize yourself with this. You see that you can capture your moments with the game DVR. You can also capture yourself doing a voiceover or a video over with Kinect. Um, you can edit your trip, you can trim it, you can add a skin in the background, then you can upload, you can share it with your friends, or even to SkyDrive. So let's go ahead and start edit. Here's where you're going to pick which template you want. Now, if you are just going to edit this clip, you can choose the Just Trim. If you want to choose Picture in Picture, um, this is where you can have a, two clips playing simultaneously, or you can have a clip and a video over from your Kinect. You can bookend it, which will give you three clips, or you can even choose multi-clip. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Bookend here. This will give me an option to add two more clips. So you can see that I've got my clip and now it's bookended by two more possible clips. So I can record with Connect, or I can choose from my game DVR. So I'm going to go ahead and choose another clip from my game DVR here. Alright, I'll choose this 21 second clip. Alright, now you see I've added this clip and it will play into this clip. Keep in mind that the max length here of all of your combined clips is going to be 5 minutes, so you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye out on this. Now if I want to just start playing my clip, I can start playing it there to preview what it's going to look like. I can fast forward it. I can rewind it. And I can even see what the end or the beginning of the clip is going to look like. So let's go ahead and trim these uh, clips up so that way it's, uh, it's not going to be so long. So I'll go ahead and click Trim here. The Trim menu, you're going to use your left and right thumbsticks to adjust how much of the clip you want to trim. Alright, so let's start this clip right at this execution. Let me back this up just a little bit. We'll start it right there to avoid the motion blur. Now, now that I've got my clip where I want it at the beginning, I'll trim where I want it at the end by using the right thumbstick to do the exact same thing. So we'll make this a short clip. I'll just highlight this execution.
There we go. I'll trim that clip right there. I'll click A. That will finalize the trim. Now, once this clip will play, you'll notice that now it's only 11 seconds down from the 21. It will play right into this clip. So I'll go ahead and trim this clip too to make a seamless transition between the two. I'll have this clip end right when I throw that guy off the building. Alright, we'll trim our second clip there. Now I can add another final clip to sign off to all of my friends and YouTube fans here. I'll choose this clip from the single player campaign. Now this clip is a minute long, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this clip as well. Remember that keeping your video short will increase uh, the... Or I'm sorry, keeping your videos long will increase its space, which will mean it will take a, a longer time to upload to SkyDrive. So if you want to get a lot of these clips on your computer, you'll probably want to keep them in short increments. So we'll highlight this execution right here too. So let me back this up. Alright, we'll trim that clip there, and let me pull this all the way back. Alright, I'm going to trim this clip right here. Okay, now that I've got my clips and I've got them in the order that I want, I'm going to go ahead and choose a skin. Here you've got a couple different options that you can add to your clips. I'm going to go ahead and choose this embers because it will add a little flame effect at the beginning of my clip. There you can see the flame effect that I'm talking about. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and record a brief voiceover to tell my friends, or possibly YouTube fans, what I think of the game. Having a lot of fun playing Rise, this is a clip from the multiplayer showing off some of the different execution styles. There we go. I'll go ahead and accept that. I only recorded 8 seconds. You can record as much as you want, but just for this demo, I'm just going to record these 8 seconds. Alright, now that I've got my clip, I've got my voiceover, uh, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. I'll name my clip. We'll just call this uh, Rise 1. I'll go ahead and tag it as a walkthrough since I'm making this video for YouTube, but you can tag it as whatever you want. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on Upload. Now, when you upload it, you can actually upload and save to SkyDrive. Again, if you want to do this, you also need to have the SkyDrive app installed, which again, you can get from the app, uh, you know, at the Xbox App Store. But I'm going to go ahead and upload this to my SkyDrive so that I can put the, my demo clip also um, up on uh, YouTube. Depending on your internet connection, um, this may take a little while, so I'll go ahead and... Um, edit kind of the load times out of this video um, so that we don't have to, to wait for the whole thing. So I'll be right back with you guys in just a minute. Alright, I'm back with you now that my upload is complete. So we can back out of this now. One more quick note is that, uh, like I said, you can uh, record Connect. Um, so if you click Start Editing here, one of the options you can do is a picture in picture. Uh, you know, again, you can you can do multiple clips there. Actually, all of these are the same thing. So if you want, you can always just set up a multi clip, and then you don't have to use these clips if you don't want to. Um, but they are there as available uh, as an option. Um, as well as you can see that this says record with connect. So I've said in some other videos that you know I'm not putting some connect footage up, um, you know, just yet. I'll have a connect walkthrough um, when I can do that. But you know I'm making a lot of these videos kind of just uh, on the fly, and so um, I'm not going to be just you know displaying my my living room or anything on on the internet. So uh, you do have this as an option. This is how the voiceover is recorded, and you can record uh, a video over if you want to you know personalize a message or whatever for YouTube fans or your. Uh, followers on Xbox One, but again, I'm just not going to show that real quick. So now that you've got your clip, we're going to go back. We're going to go home and we're going to go to our apps and games. Okay. 
Here we're going to go find our SkyDrive app. There it is. All right, and you can see that we've got uh, we've got this right here. Click on this. Click on our Xbox Game DVR, and there's our clip from Upload Studio. Now, if you've got the SkyDrive um, application on your computer installed, you can also go ahead and get this on your computer, and then you can upload that um, right to YouTube. And I'll go ahead and switch over to a PC and show you how to do that. Uh, as well. Alright, so here I am on the PC. Uh, I just went to skydrive.live.com and signed in. Um, you can see it says Chris's SkyDrive. So here we can uh, double click on this, go to our Xbox game DVR, and here is our clip. Well, this the capture area is not going to record the whole thing, but we can actually play our clip um, right from online. We can go ahead and click up here to download our clip, and once we've got it downloaded on our computer, we can actually upload it to uh, YouTube if we want. Uh, you can also get the SkyDrive application, um, so that way you can just uh, launch your SkyDrive right from your toolbar, um, which is what I do have installed here, and you can see I can click on pictures uh, and then go to the uh, game DVR, and there it is. I can play it locally right from uh, my computer as well. So there you have it. That's how you record um, you know, your game footage uh, and that's how you can using Upload Studio Edit It and using Microsoft SkyDrive get it on your computer so that you can share it to YouTube. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you want to do more with your clips, i got some videos right here. So first is the unedited clip that I made in this video. You can watch it on YouTube by clicking the link on the left. And the link on the right is a video too. I did a side-by-side -side comparison, some really easy tools using Sony Vegas or another uh, software uh, that you can use to edit these clips and make them look really good to put them on YouTube. Be sure to check them out.